In this life, we are all searching. We seek happiness, we seek contentment, and we find ourselves trying to determine what our purpose is so that we can make sense of our existence. We travel down many roads to find fulfillment, fame, fortune, and pleasure. We long to leave our mark on the world, but sometimes we wonder if we're really making any difference at all. And life gets chaotic. Our ambitions begin to mount up around us, and we try to deal with the ongoing frustrations and hurts by filling our lives with more noise. We experiment with the things that this world promises will lead to happiness, but instead, we only find more chaos. We don't realize what we really need is the peace that can only be found in our Creator. So we continue to seek fulfillment. We don't always know what we are searching for, but we blindly make our way through the dark and hope to grasp onto something, anything that will last. And when we find God, we realize that we no longer want to stumble around in the chaos of this world, and we begin to realize our desperate need for a Savior. As we continue to seek God, we understand that He does not keep His creation at arm's length. He is a personal God who desires an intimate relationship with us. He has purpose for us to be active participants in His divine story and has made Himself incredibly approachable to all of humanity. And although He's in the process of accomplishing the plans of all nations, God Almighty reaches down into our hearts and invites us to ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find and to knock and the door will be opened. And so we seek Him in prayer. And as we rely on His guidance, prayer is not viewed as a formality or a ritual to get through. Prayer is our whole approach to life. Prayer connects us to the people we pray for gives us a bigger perspective, it changes everything. And when we ask something of God in prayer, we understand that His eternal perspective and divine will may not always align with our desires and petitions. So we are open to the creative workings of God, but at the same time we are honest and intimate as we pour ourselves out to Him. As we become more dependent on God through continual prayer, we open ourselves to a lifelong journey of seeking His will for our lives. Seeking God is at the core purpose of our existence. It's why we long for justice, pause at beauty, and chase after dreams that promise greater meaning. We were wired to seek our Creator. It is written into the very fabric of our being. But seeking God is a continual effort and requires our complete dependence and devotion. The Lord declares in Jeremiah 29, 13 that if we seek Him, we will find Him if we seek Him with all of our hearts. But seeking God can be a lonely endeavor. It requires us to look away from the appeal of worldly success and instead turn to the Bible, His holy word, to discover our purpose in life. It calls us to keep our eyes focused on Him even when the rest of the world is moving the opposite direction. As we seek God, we must remember that anyone who follows the teachings of Christ is almost certain to undergo persecution. Knowing that His disciples would face opposition, Christ encouraged them in Luke 11.10 by declaring that what they ask will be given and what they seek will be found. This assurance reminds us that in the midst of trials and doubts, we mustn't give up seeking His face. Because as Paul declares in 1 Corinthians 13, 12, now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, but then we shall see face to face.